Yeah, hi there. These comments are for P.S. I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes. And uh, you sent me an email just a few minutes ago. You say, I have a question about speaking section. You give me very good feedback. As you know, I still didn't do good enough 20 to 23. I need 26. Okay, so one of my online students right now, you've been posting independent an integrated speaking practice test at my website and I've been giving you feedback on a day-to-day -day basis. So you say, question one and two are the most difficult for me because I don't know the answer in 15 seconds. Also I need to speak, use the infinitive here, I need to speak clearly and fast enough to finish. I try to go over all your sections and your lessons every day. Do you think the topic statement is important? Can I just give two answers after the first and second? Most of the time I couldn't finish an example in each answer. I try to plan my exam date. Okay, let's deal with this question. Yes, you need that topic statement. If you're having trouble finishing within that 45 second time frame, then my suggestion is focus on just one support idea, one reason. That becomes the argument. Then give examples to help explain that reason. All right, that time, in that way, you'll have more time to give the examples for that particular supporting point. That's my advice there. Ultimately, though, you have to get to the point where you can explain at least two reasons why you disagree or agree with some idea and then give appropriate supporting examples for each of those ideas. <coughs> That's what you're trying to do. You say, I try to plan my exam date. From your experience, how long do you think? Um, here's what you want to say here. How long do you think it? How long do you think it will take before I would be ready to take the exam? It's hard to say. It. It just depends on how quickly you can solve your delivery issues because your first language is, is uh, Thai you're having a lot of problems with those medial and those final consonant sounds in addition based on a lot of the practice tests you submitted you also have some language use issues and sometimes even topic development issues so it's all up to you I mean I don't know how long it's going to take you to solve those issues uh, previous TOEFL takers experience tells me, I mean, it's a battle. If you continue sending me practice tests on a day-to-day -day basis and you continue following my suggestions, my best guess is probably around three months. That's probably what you're looking for. If you're making English a priority right now, that means you're not speaking a lot of Thai. You're speaking English pretty much all day, every day. You're watching TV in English and not Thai. You're doing everything right now to improve your English. So if you're doing all of that, you're giving it 110% every day, and you're getting a lot of exposure to the language, my best guess would be around three months. Uh, if you're not doing all that, it's going to delay your progress even more. So it just all depends on what you're doing. All right, so those are some of my comments to what you're saying. And remember my recommendation. My recommendation is to write out your responses right now. Every time you give me a practice test, I want you to write it out, correct all the grammar problems, put all the examples in there, practice, 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 and then finally record it and make sure it's only 45 seconds and then you're going to send it to me. That's what I would recommend is really, really concentrate. Even if it takes spending one hour in terms of completing your, your practice test, I'm okay with that. It will help you in the long run, I promise you. Now I know that you only have 15 seconds during the TOEFL, but right now you need to really pay attention to what you're doing and how you're doing it. And once you can, once you can get 26, you see what I'm saying? You need to feel what it's like to get 26. Once you can do that, then you can shorten your preparation. So let's say it takes you one hour of planning and practicing before you get 26 on a speaking task, right? Then the next time you do it, you might want to take only 50 minutes planning. The next time, maybe 40 minutes, and on and on and on, until the, eventually you're down to only 15 seconds of preparation. 
You see what I'm saying? But the big issue is your delivery, your pronunciation. You really need to work in that area. Alright?